In this video, I'm going to explain about blood vessels. Why this is important? Because in earlier classes, we, had, we studied about the structure of human heart and the blood circulatory system inside it. As we are studying the transfer in mammals, we need to know that the blood vessels, the types of blood vessels and, and that there are some differences between them. Especially in this lecture, I will focus on the differences between artery and veins. You know that, that the based on size, shape and functions, blood vessels are three types. That is arteries, veins and capillaries. So the first question is what is blood vessels? If this is the question then the answer is this is a channel. Through that channel the blood is moving inside our body. So why this is important? Because you know that through this pumping organ blood is circulating throughout our body and every single time when this left ventricle pumps blood through the artery it's reaching every corner of our body and then it's again coming back to the heart for purifying you know that through the blood circulations this is a central pumping organ which is which is actually moving around and that is why uh, these circulations is important because you know that artery is carrying oxygenated blood and veins is usually is carrying deoxygenated blood which is actually carbon dioxide enriched blood so now you think when when through this superior and inferior vena cava when blood is coming to the heart this is a deoxygenated blood and when from the left ventricle blood is I mean, moving away from the heart to the body, this is actually oxygenated blood that was purified from the lungs. So, why this is important? Think I just put some sort of categories regarding the differences between arteries and veins. Before going to explain, we need to know the structure of arteries and veins. We need to know that the arteries and veins they have three different layers the external layers which is actually named as tunica tunica externa and the middle layer is tunica media tunica media and the third is the tunica interna now you think the name is usually expressed the positions of the layer so the outermost layer which is actually a connective tissue is the outermost layer and its name is tunica externa both cases in artery and veins the middle layer is known as tunica media this is usually made up of uh, involuntary round muscle and the third layer or the inner layer is the tunica interna which is actually made up of by uh, endothelial tissues. So this is very important. The tunica externa is made up of connective tissue. The tunica media is made up of round involuntary muscle and the tunica interna is made up of endothelial tissues. So now if I, if I show you one picture then it will be much more easier for understand that the process. You see this is a very a good looking picture that is actually a easy drawing that this is artery and this is vein so you know that artery is again subdivided into some hair like complicated and delicate blood vessels which is visible in the muscle fiber and this is known as capillaries so from the artery when blood is coming from heart through the arteries and then again it subdivided into the capillaries and then again the vein has been created so we can see that the arteries is actually carrying oxygenated blood and the veins is carrying deoxygenated blood from the capillaries so you see layers are actually given the outermost layer which is uh, made up of the connective tissues these are the tunica externa 
and the middle layer is made of round muscular tissues. This is tunica media. This is similar for the arteries and veins and the inner layer is tunica interna. Interesting thing is that you see the lumen, the internal passage of the arteries and veins. In this case, this is much wider. In, in, in veins, the lumens are wider, but in this case, in artery, the lumens are, are narrower because the wall of artery is thicker, but the wall of veins are thinner. And most importantly, the, that artery has no valves, but the veins has valves because the functions of valves is it allows unidirectional flow of blood and it prevent the black flow. So it prevent the back flow because uh, the deoxygenated blood only should go to heart for purifying through the lungs. So that is why it prevent back flow through these valves. So the valves is acting as a doors. So it will allow only to go in one direction. So arteries has no valve, veins has valve. The, the, the wall of arteries is thicker and that is why the lumen is uh, narrower. In this case, veins uh, walls are thinner and the lumens are wider. So most importantly, this is the, uh, the differentiation or the distinction. So if we see the differences between the, or the arteries and vein, we can think about it. Origin. The origin of artery from the heart, actually from the left ventricle. So from the left ventricle, you know that through the semilunar valve, the arch of aorta is carrying away blood, oxygenated blood to the body from the heart to the body oxygenated blood so arteries origin is heart so we can say heart especially from the left ventricle vein will be originated from the capillaries so is capillaries capillaries ending just vice versa artery will end into the capillaries capillaries and and the artery the veins ending would be in in the heart because all the veins i mean actually carrying the blood from the heart to the uh, from the body to the heart so this is the superior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava so these vena cavas are carrying blood to the right atrium so we can say this is heart actually in right atrium think about the direction of blood flow we know that arteries are carrying away blood from the heart to the body so we can say to the body and in this case we know that veins is carrying blood from the body to the heart so we can say this is to the heart and in this case nature of blood we know that usually arteries not actually usually uh, mainly arteries uh, carry oxygenated blood except this pulmonary artery this pulmonary artery carrying deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle through the semilunar valve so the only exceptions in case of arteries are pulmonary artery so we can say except pulmonary artery nature of blood in arteries are oxygenated so we can say this is oxygenated and especially except the pulmonary veins these actually carried by deoxygenated blood or carbon dioxide enriched blood because only pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the heart to the left atrium so without or except the pulmonary veins all veins are carrying deoxygenated blood wow i said it earlier that in case of arteries and veins there are three layers so with that the wall of arteries are thicker so we can say this is thicker and this is thinner 
as, as it is thicker, the lumen, that means the internal passage, is actually uh, narrower. In this case, lumen is narrow uh, and this is wider. wider. Valve. Definitely in arteries there are no valves, so valves are absent in arteries. So we can say this is absent and in this case this is present. And the location, usually we can say that arteries are deep located into the deep inside, but the veins are superficial. So we can say location is deep inside and this is super superficial superficial now one thing is very important that we know that as the, the the lumen of arteries are very thin I mean lumen is very narrower so the contraction and the expansion of the arteries when blood is moving then it then there is you can feel it and this is known as a pulse so when we can actually touch then we can feel there is a vibration and these vibrations is known as a pulse. So when blood is moving inside arteries, that the narrow, the narrow lumen, actually when it is contracted and expanded, then it, it gives the vibrations and this is known as pulse. So hopefully in this short video, I'm just focusing only the blood vessels. We need to know the definition of blood vessels. We need to know the definition of arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are those blood vessels are carrying away blood from heart to body. Usually the oxygenated blood, this is known as artery. And the blood vessels which is carrying a deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart is known as vein. And usually the capillaries as the, are actually the hair-like delicate blood vessels visible in the muscle fibers and is the junctions between arteries and veins. So you need to know the differences, arteries and veins. And of course, uh, after watching this video, do you have any, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment sections. And I'm trying my level best to upload the videos based on the content and the topics. So I am following a series of videos and you will get my all videos in a single playlist based on the title of the chapter. So if you don't get any videos, let me know. I'm giving you the link. And of course, let me know your recommendations and feedback after watching these videos. So take care, stay well. I'm coming up with another video of blood pressures and hypertension. Take care, stay well.